All right, welcome to another video. In this episode, we are going to look at how we can evaluate this particular function under this limit, right? So here, you know that when you have y equals x or x, and you want to differentiate, right? What do you do? You introduce ln to both sides, right? So we are going to apply the same knowledge at this point. So here, what we have here, we are going to say that let y equals one plus one on x or exponent x. So once you have this, what do you do? Introduce ln to both sides, right? So introduce ln to both sides, you have ln y equals ln into one plus one on x exponent x. We are not interested of this x at this point. So we drop it down here. So we have ln y equals x ln into one plus one on x right here. So once we have this, then we can say that since this expression is the same as this, then it's equal to this, right? So we can go ahead and introduce the limb as s approaches infinity, limb y is equal to limb as s approaches infinity, right? So this here into one plus one on x right here. So now limb of x, limb, limb of y um, as s approaches infinity and limb x, lean into 1 plus 1 over x as s approaches infinity we are going to consider this function right so considering this function which is lean as s approaches infinity x lean into 1 plus 1 on x right here. Here, we want to apply the L'Hopital's rule, right? But before we can apply the L'Hopital's rule, we have to avoid this x here, express it in the fraction form. So this x, if you want to express it in the fraction form, it will be the same as um, lim as s approaches infinity, x lim into 1 plus 1 on x, right? This expression is the same as lim as s approaches infinity. This x can be expressed as 1 on 1 on x, right? So times lim into 1 plus 1 on x, right? So once you have this, then this means that um, we have lim as s approaches infinity, lim into 1 plus 1 on x, right here, all over 1 on x, right? So once we have this, we can go ahead, you know, the L'Hopital rule, once, before we can apply that rule, we have to make sure that we are having zero over zero, which is indeterminate before you can go ahead and apply the L'Hopital's rule. So let's try this here and see if it is zero over zero. So when we substitute S into, replace X with infinity over here, we are going to have lim into one plus one on infinity, all over one on infinity right so once you have this we can see that lim into one plus one on infinity is zero right so we have zero here over one on infinity is zero so we have zero right here and we knew that we have lim into one over zero of course Lin one is 
one uh, zero right so we have zero on zero right so once we have zero on zero right which means that it's indeterminate it's indeterminate when we do direct substitution then we can go ahead and apply the logical rule by differentiating the numerator and the denominator right so here here applying the logical rule The Lubitaus rule, right? We are going to have Lim as S approaches infinity. Um, the differential of the numerator, which is Lim into 1 plus 1 on X, right? All over the differential of the denominator, which is one on x right so we all know how to differentiate a len a function in a len right so let's differentiate the numerate the numerator first which is len into one plus one on x and this can be expressed as This one plus one on X can be expressed as one. Of course, we have X plus one all on X, right? So when you have this, now you can easily differentiate this, right? It's either you are going to use the quotient rule and then the chain rule together, right? So here, you know that when you want to differentiate a function in the lane, you take one over the function in the length in the first place, right? So we have one over the function in the lane, right? So once we have this times the differential of the function in the length, right? And we know that if you want to differentiate this function, it's two functions dividing each other. So we use the quotient rule. So applying the quotient rule, right differentiate the numerator which is going to give us one right then we maintain um the denominator which is x minus we, we maintain the numerator which is s plus one and then we differentiate the denominator which is one all over the square of the denominator right so this we are going to have one but we know that one on whatever s plus one on x is the same as s is the same as s on s plus one right so we have here this is going to be x minus let's expand this bracket minus x minus one Right, so we have all over S squared. Right, so this this we are going to have S on S plus one, right? Times this, of course, we take off this, and then we have negative on s squared right but we know that this is in brackets of course so this when we multiply it means that we're going to have negative x on s squared into s plus one right so this will finally give us this takes one and then we have x here so we have negative one on x into s plus one so this is 
the differential of the numerator as we have right here. So we go ahead and differentiate the denominator as well. So the differential of the denominator, which is 1 on x, you know that this is the same as s or negative 1. Right, so differentiating this, you are going to have drops the exponent, which is the power rule. So negative 1, then we subtract 1 from the exponent. It's going to be negative 2. So we're going to have negative 1 on s squared. Right, so we have been able to differentiate the denominator and the numerator respectively. So here, what we do, let's go and um, put them back, combine them. So, right, so we have here negative 1 on x into s plus 1, all divided by negative 1 on x squared. Right, so this is the same as negative 1 on x into s plus 1, divided by negative 1 on x squared right so here here you are going to have negative 1 on x into x plus 1 times negative s squared on 1 right and this is the same as you know all right, let, let's bring the negative. So we have negative 1 into negative s squared, right? This is multiplication. Of course, let me use um, dot so that we have all over s into s plus 1, right? So here, we are going to have... We are going to have negative, negative, right? Which is going to be positive. So we have S squared all over S into S plus 1, right? And you know that this cancels and then it takes one of this, right? So we have X on S plus 1. So this becomes the simplified... Um, expression after we applied the L'Hopital rule, right? So now we can say that lim as s approaches infinity, s on s plus 1 here, right? So here, what do we do? Earlier on, we said that, um, so here we can go ahead and differentiate again the second time right so applying applying the L'Hopital's rule again we are going to have you know this when you are differentiating this it means that we're going to have lim as s approaches infinity, differential of x over differential of x plus 1, right? And this will be equal to differential of x is, of course, 1. And then the differential of x plus 1, x will give us 1. And the differential of 1 is, of course, 0. So you have 1 on 1, and that is equal to 1. Right, so now we can say that we can say that now we can say that lim as s approaches infinity of one, right? But we know that lim of x, lim one as s approaches infinity is of course one right so we have been able to obtain the value of that huge expression right so but earlier on 
But earlier on, we said that ln y should be equal to a particular expression, which of course was the simplified expression that we have gotten the one, which is um, lean, of course, x lean into one plus one on x. So this is this is what we simplified to get a one, right? So if this is given us one, then it means that this one is equal to one. So we have lean y is equal to one, right? So here, what we do? We know that when you have this, you, we are interested in the y, right? So what we do, we apply or we um, bring out the base, the natural base of the lane, right? So we introduce the natural base of the lane, which is the e. So you have e power lin y. Whatever you do here, you do same to the right hand side. So you have e power one, right? So we drop this here. So we have um, y lin e, right? So we're going to have e power 1 is of course e. And you know that e lin e is 1, right? So we have y is equal e to e, right? So here, from the beginning, we said that, from the beginning, we said that um, we should let y equals 1 plus 1 on x exponent x, right? So once we have this, then it means that this whole expression is y, right? And the same expression is e, right? So we have here so we have here this whole ex expression is equal to in y, right? Which is the same as, right? So here we can go ahead and say that since this is equal to this and this is equal to this, then we have lim as s approaches infinity of the Euclidean number, which is the e. Right, and you know that s approaches infinity of lim e is going to be the e, right? So this huge expression, our final answer is giving us e, which is two point seven zero eight something something, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Don't forget to press on the notification bell, like, and let me know if I should do part two for you. Bye-bye.